The Boring Company is an infrastructure and tunnel construction company founded by Elon Musk in 2016. Musk has cited difficulty with Los Angeles traffic and limitations with the current 2D transportation network as inspiration for the project. The Boring Company is a subsidiary of SpaceX. As of October 2018 the brick store was planned to open at 12003 Prairie Avenue, Hawthorne adjacent to the Boring Test Tunnel exit shaft. History Elon Musk announced the existence of the Boring Company in December 2016. By February 2017, the company had begun digging a 30-foot wide 9 meters, 50-foot long 15 meters, and 15-foot deep 4 .6 meters testing trench on the premises of SpaceX's offices in Hawthorne, since construction on its site would not require any permits. When told by employees on a Friday afternoon that it would take at least two weeks to move staff cars in the parking lot and start digging the first hole with the Boring Company tunneling machine, Musk said, Let's get started today and see what's the biggest hole we can dig between now and Sunday afternoon, running 24 hours a day. Later that day, the cars were gone and there was a hole in the ground. In an interview during a TED conference in April 2017, Musk estimated that this company's project had taken 2 to 3% of his time, making this venture a personal hobby. In March 2017, Musk announced that sometime in April the company would start using a tunnel boring machine TBM to begin digging a usable tunnel at SpaceX. At the end of April 2017, a TBM was seen at SpaceX with the company's name on the side. The TBM was revealed to be named Godot in May 2017, after the Beckett play Waiting for Godot. Future TBMs will also be named after poems, plays, poets, and playwrights. Musk says the first route created will run from LAX to Culver City, then to Santa Monica, and end in Westwood. Musk claims the tunnel trip will take five minutes, compared to normal driving that can take up to 45 minutes in normal traffic to go from LAX to Westwood. These trips will be implemented by placing a car on an electric sled and traveling at 200 km per hour 120 miles per hour through tunnels. By November 2017, the company had filed permitting application with Los Angeles government regulators to build a tunnel from Hawthorne along Interstate 405 to Westwood. In July 2017, Musk said that the Boring Company had received verbal government approval to build an underground hyperloop connecting New York City, Philadelphia, Baltimore, and Washington, D.C. In October 2017, the company obtained a utility permit for the construction of the Baltimore-Washington Tunnel from the Maryland's Department of Transportation. This part of the tunnel, some 35 miles between Penn Station in Baltimore to Washington Union Station, will start near Fort Meade. The October 2017 Maryland government permit for utilities indicated that construction could begin in January 2018 on two parallel 12.4-mile electric sled tunnels that would run from Maryland Route 175 to downtown Baltimore terminating near Camden Yards, the New York to Washington, D.C. Hyperloop, which Musk has claimed will take 29 minutes to travel from city center to city center, could be built in the future at the same time as the Los Angeles tunnel system announced in May. Other projects include a San Francisco to Los Angeles Hyperloop and a Texas Hyperloop, which are planned for a later stage. In July 2017, Musk uploaded a video depicting a successful test of a prototype car elevator. In October, Musk revealed the second TBM is named Line Storm, named after the Robert Frost poem A Line Storm Song. In November 2017, Musk stated that the Boring Company would respond to a request for quotation RFQ from the Chicago Infrastructure Trust and the City of Chicago to design, build, finance, operate and maintain an express service through a public-private partnership from O'Hare International Airport to downtown Chicago. By March 2018, the company had been selected as one of two finalists in the competition. In March 2018, Elon Musk announced that the company would readjust its plan to prioritize pedestrians and cyclists over cars, which would only be considered for transport after all personalized mass transit needs were met. In June 2018, Chicago selected Musk's company from four competing bids to provide high speed transportation between downtown and the airport. The final contract remains to be negotiated. Topic. Boring machines The first three boring machines used by the Boring Company are 
Godot, a conventional tunnel boring machine, used for research purposes. Line Storm, a highly modified conventional boring machine, a hybrid design, boring two to three times faster than pre-2018 boring machines. Proofrock, or Proof Rock, a fully boring company designed machine, anticipated to be approximately ten times faster than conventional boring machines, with hopes of making it even faster. Currently under development since May 2018. Topic. Tunnel projects and proposals The Boring Company currently has active construction, or approved plans in place, in at least two areas of the United States, on opposite coasts. They have also been selected to build a downtown-to-airport loop by a government program for high-speed transport in Chicago. Topic. Los Angeles Topic. Hawthorne. The Boring Company began constructing a short test tunnel in city of Hawthorne, adjacent to the SpaceX headquarters and manufacturing facility, in 2017. A 2-mile two .2 high-speed tunnel in Hawthorne, California began construction in 2017 on a route from Hawthorne along Interstate 405 to Westwood. In May 2018, Musk said that tunnel boring is complete and the tunnel final work is nearly done, will be open in a few months, and that people can try it for free, pending regulatory approval. When it first opens, in September 2018, public information was released by the city of Hawthorne that a test spur and elevator has been proposed near the intersection of 120th Street and Hawthorne Boulevard. The elevator spur would enable the conduct of engineering tests of automotive vehicles that could be driven onto skates. Engine turn off, with passenger and vehicle lowered into the tunnel spur for testing, with removal and return to the surface at the other end of the test track, near the SpaceX facility. Topic. Dugout loop A proposal to build a 3.6 miles kilometers tunnel called the Dugout Loop was first publicly discussed in August 2018. The tunnel would extend from a to be determined location on Vermont Avenue. Three different possibilities were suggested in the original document to terminate at Dodger Stadium. The project would be a public private partnership, if approved and built, and it is anticipated construction would require 14 months to complete. Also in August, the City of Los Angeles published a study and environmental checklist for the proposed project, detailing an overview of the project, alignment, construction and operational effects on the city, along with a list of the 16 California public regulatory agencies that would oversee and permit various aspects of the project. Topic. Baltimore A 12.4-mile electric sled dual-bore tunnel has been permitted in Baltimore, Maryland where construction was slated to begin in early 2018. The initial work would extend from Maryland Route 175 to downtown Baltimore terminating near Camden Yards. Utility permits were issued to extend a full 35 miles 56 kilometers from Baltimore to Washington, D.C., between Penn Station in Baltimore to Washington Union Station. Topic. Chicago A competition to build a high-speed link from downtown Chicago to the soon-to-be-expanded O'Hare Airport had been reduced to just two bidders by March 2018. The Boring Company was selected in June 2018 and will now negotiate a contract to be presented to the Chicago City Council. Construction is to be entirely financed by the Boring Company, which is subsequently to maintain and operate the link. The system would transport passengers in automated electric cars carrying 16 passengers and their luggage through two parallel tunnels running under existing public way alignments, traveling from Block 37 to the airport in 12 minutes, at speeds reaching 125 to 150 miles per hour 200 to 240 kilometers per hour, with pods departing as often as every 30 seconds. Topic. Future goals. According to Musk, the company's goal is to enhance tunneling speed enough such that establishing a tunnel network is financially feasible. If you think of tunnels going 10, 20, 30 layers deep or more, it is obvious that going 3D down will encompass the needs of any city's transport of arbitrary size.
Future boring operations will implement a contemporaneous operation of boring and tunnel reinforcement to reduce the cost of the tunneling operations, in addition to the reduction of tunnel size, reusing soil materials for tunnel construction, and further technological improvements. According to Tesla, Inc. and SpaceX board member Steve Jurvetson, tunnels specifically built for electric vehicles have reduced size and complexity, and thus decreased cost. The insight I think that's so powerful is that if you only envision electric vehicles in your tunnels you don't need to do the air handling for all carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, you know, basically pollutants for exhaust. You could have scrubbers and a variety of simpler things that make everything collapse to a smaller tunnel size, which dramatically lowers the cost. The whole concept of what you do with tunnels changes. Musk also hinted at the possibility that the underground infrastructure technology might be used for his project of creating a self sustaining human colony on Mars. I do think getting good at digging tunnels could be really helpful for Mars. For sure, there's going to be a lot of ice mining on Mars, and mining in general to get raw materials. You can build a tremendous amount underground with the right boring technology on Mars. So I do think there is some overlap in that technology development arena. And then, along the way, building underground habitats where you could get radiation shielding, you could build an entire city underground if you wanted to. <laughs> Marketing and promotional merchandise In 2018, the company began to engage in a number of marketing promotions and offered several types of promotional merchandise to consumers. To date, these have included hats, flamethrowers, and fire extinguishers. The company began its consumer sales by offering 50,000 hats and once those sold out in January 2018, it began offering 20,000 flamethrowers for pre-ordering. The boring company's flamethrower was a blow torch shaped to look like a gun and it is legal to use in all U.S. states except for Maryland. The sale of the flamethrower attracted criticism, with politician Miguel Santiago seeking to introduce legislation that would ban sales of the device in California. In just a few days, all 20,000 flamethrowers were sold out, but after customs officials said that they would not allow any items called flamethrowers, Elon Musk announced on Twitter that he would rename them to not a flamethrower and subsequently updated the Boring Company website where it also states that it is the world's safest flamethrower. Musk also announced separate sales of the Boring Company fire extinguisher, which he described as overpriced, but this one comes with a cool sticker. In March 2018, Musk announced on Twitter that the company would soon be launching a new type of merchandise, which he described as life size Lego like interlocking bricks made from tunneling rock that you can use to create sculptures and buildings. Topic see also Hyperloop Cargo Sue's Terrain Topic References Topic External links Official website The Boring Company's list of frequently asked questions The future we're building, and boring, Elon Musk TED Talks on YouTube The Boring Company Information Session Video 55 minutes, video of information session on the vision of The Boring Company and the project in Los Angeles, with Q&A